family, welcome back. Thank you for being here and happy Minimalist Monday. Today I wanna to talk about a topic that I've been seeing come up and it's in the criticism of minimalism, which talks about the idea that minimalism is only for the rich, entitled, and privileged folk. And it was an interesting thought to me because I never looked at it that way. You see, minimalism to me, and I think for a lot of us, is a philosophy. It's an approach that does work for the materialistic items, mainly because it's easier to do something about your external circumstances before turning inwards and doing something about your internal circumstances. It's always been my hope here on this channel that you guys get the feel of how minimalism applies not only to your household or to the things you purchase on, what you spend your time and money on, but also how you can apply it to your own self-growth, personal development, and perspective on life. So the idea that it's for entitled, rich, or privileged people really comes from the criticism of Joshua Fields Milburn on a news channel, something that I read, and, and a lot of comments that people leave behind. And it was because he stated that rather than owning a couple dozen pairs of jeans, he only owns one $100 pair of jeans. And of course, many people are thinking, what are you talking about? I can't even afford a $100 pair of jeans. How is this minimal? That seems really excessive to me. What's interesting about it is minimalism applies to any person on all different walks of life with different values, different preferences, different things that they feel like add to their lives. And so in the idea of any person, including myself or any blog you might read or anything that you might be looking up when it comes to minimalism, it's not really about saying there's one way or a specific way to do it. It's not about saying you have to own 50 or 100 items or less or you have to get rid of all your jeans and only buy a $100 pair of jeans. It was just an example of how typical middle-class working Americans tend to buy in excess. And purchasing 10 or more pairs of jeans would actually most likely cost you more than $100. So rather than doing that and having to deal with the litter and the waste and not really loving your pair of jeans and then having to replace them because they're not of good quality, buy a hundred dollar pair of jeans instead or something that's more expensive of higher quality and something that you really truly love and think it's worth spending your money on rather than the other and it was just an example so if you can't afford a hundred dollar pair of jeans of course it wouldn't add value to your life to go broke or to try to spend money on that it's literally an example of what do you spend your time your money or anything in excess that you can trade and replace with something that means more and is of value to you. The idea of minimalism isn't about pointing out how unaware and ignorant, rich, privileged, or excessive-minded people are. It's really the idea of the exact opposite. It's about saying, hey, let's be more aware. Let's not be wasteful. Let's improve our lives. And really, truly, it is a selfish endeavor. What is it? You know, for most of us, even if we do something kind for somebody, it's because we want something in return. Whether it's feeling good or loving ourselves more or knowing that it's just a good thing to do something nice for somebody else, we're always in things to get something, you know, whether indirectly or directly. And we have to be able to improve and take care of ourselves first, be aware and feel the positive benefits first before we can turn outwardly and give that to other people. So in order to be a good giver, you have to be a good receiver. In order to feel like people are grateful for you and appreciate you, you have to be grateful and learn how to give appreciation too. I really truly believe you get what you give and minimalism is the idea of not saying, I'm so snooty, I have the privilege of wasting items and buying what I want in excess and buying $100 pairs of jeans or whatever. It has nothing to do with the amount of money. It's literally saying, hey, I'm so grateful that I have the opportunity to decide, to have a choice, to make a conscious choice, to not only improve my life because that also in turn improves the lives of others and what I can give and add value outwards. If you take just that one small example in context and say, well, I don't own 10 pairs of jeans, I only own a hundred pair, dollar pair of jeans, that of course doesn't sound good. But if you take the whole picture of what you know, most of these minimalists, especially Joshua Fields Milburn, likes to preach about, it's not just about $100 pair of jeans, it's about removing all the excess, not only for your own lives, but so that you can contribute outside of your own life as well. So to end this video, and I'm sure I'm preaching to the choir, 
I implore the question of how criticizing any sort of group or organization or philosophy or idea or approach to life adds value to one's life. Because at the end of the day, we can label, we can categorize or box up anything we want and then point out everything that it excludes and feel entitled or sorry for it and feel like, hey, what about me? But that is a form of self-entitlement, which is hypocritical, is it not? Anyways, if you are one of the people who have felt like minimalism has made you feel excluded or like it's not for you, I hope that you can stay open-minded and maybe look at some of the content here and explore other people who present minimalism and see how it can truly benefit you because I believe that it is a philosophy and approach that all walks of life, no matter what social scale you're on, no matter what you own, what you don't own, or what you choose to buy, can implement for a more positive result that will help you feel more empowered and really more satisfied with life. And that's really what minimalism is all about. So thank you so much for joining this conversation and for listening to this message. I hope you found great value out of it. Again, if you're new, please subscribe and welcome to the family. Thank you so much if you've already done that. We love having you guys here. It's been so awesome growing with you guys in this and talking about these ideas. I'm getting a lot of your guys' requests and I really love that too because that helps me be able to deliver to you and converse with you about topics and interests that you like as well. Make sure you let me know that you like this video by hitting thumbs up up and go ahead and stick your questions and conversations below. I will see you guys in the next video. Ciao for now.